everybody welcome back to the underground lair we are done with the lawn and we've got a new shirt on and everything kick my butt <laughs> anyhow telecaster's gone now we have a squire um vintage whatever they call those things i'll get it for you in a minute it's a uh, square jazz base. They're made in Indonesia. This one actually has some really nice flame on one of the pieces of wood that make up the three pieces of body. Let's take a look. Take a look along here. A lot of nice flame. I'm not sure what kind of wood that is, but it's got some nice flame to it. Um, same way on the back. on both sides here. It's real real nice looking. This is one of the upper end squires and we're going to set it up with the same gauge strings that it has. Uh, we're going to the um, DR high beams 10545. So I'm going to get this unstrung and polish frets and we'll be back. Alright, so you can see what we're doing. We're starting off with 1500 grit micro mesh. We're going to polish these bad boys up. 1800, 2400, 3200, 3600, and 4000. Because everybody deserves nice shiny polished frets so like I've said before you really don't want to watch me maybe you do there's old videos you can do that ballpark tuning wise let's see where we're at we got to take more out 17th fret keep on the first and 12th thou I want that to just sneak under there. Yeah, it just about does. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Underground Lair with our Squire Classic Vibe Jazz Bass. We made a big adjustment to the truss rod, but upon tuning this up, maybe the the um, neck tension up a whole lot more than I expected. Let's see what we add. Looks like it's laying flat. <laughs> yeah. Let's release that truss rod a little bit. Let's see where that put us. That's probably a little too much finicky thing isn't it notice I'm going to tighten so I released the um, string tension a little bit Okay, I'm gonna live with that for now. Let's see where our string height is. And we want to measure at the 17th fret. We are at 564. We're at 664s, 464s, 564s, and 864s. Let's bring those all into. I want to. I want to aim for f either five or six sixty fours. So, first one to come down is going to be the E. Oh, 
That's a hair of a 564's same hair of a 564's and 664's. So it kind of descends. to go to six because we got some string buzz. Yep, we're gonna do that. fits here. buzzing on the first fret. Somebody was been here before and decided to take that down. But so man, I don't know if I want to I don't want to put see if you put more bow in the neck. You're, I'm already like climbing out of a valley and that's why you get you're good there start to get buzz more buzz because this is going down and you're climbing up out of the valley but on the other hand and that's because it should have less bow. If it has less bow, that won't happen. However, the problem we have, see as soon as we fret it to first fret, that buzz problem goes away. But no, it's buzzing up here. So we're still climbing out of the valley same issue but it's buzzing at the first fret. Do we want to put a new nut on this? I'm gonna to have to call Buddy and find out. Okay boys and girls uh, we tried to remedy the situation by trying different relief levels but it seems like even though he said that this was bought new uh, from a Megalomart type store um, it's pretty it's pretty apparent that this has been goofed with so we're going to replace the nut hopefully hopefully the bottom of the nut is rounded And hopefully, when they put this nut in, they didn't go and use super glue because that's never a good thing. So I'm just scoring around the edges with a brand new X-Acto blade. We take our block of wood and you very gently tap against the uh, nut. Okay. 
because you don't want to bust out any of the rosewood. Okay. Good. Oop. Put the cover back on. Okay. Hopefully, we'll be able to pop this out. Come on. Well, after being super patient, as you can see, the nut came out really not too hard. Um, it is not a bone nut, as you can see, but it is a flat bottom. And I checked online, and no one seems to have the flat bottom. I've got a tusk, but you see it has a round bottom to it. And you don't want to use that when you have a flat slot. So what we're going to do is I cut a piece of walnut veneer, if we can get that in the picture, right here. And uh, I did sand a little bit off of the base side. And we're going to put that in place with a little bit of tight bond wood glue. I'm just going to put a little bit in the slot here. Since we can't get tusk, we're just going to put a wood veneer shim, a real wood veneer shim in here. And place the nut on top of that. So there we go. Put it in place with my toothpick. Hook it down. Put a little bit more wood glue on the top of that. You don't need a ton because you don't want all kind of squeeze out. You just want it to hold in place. All right. So there we go. And this, like I said, came out with any without any hassles. So we're going to put it back in. Move it into place. There we are. If, as I was saying, if we need to, we can go lower on the nut, but I think this is just going to solve our problem. All right, we solved our problem. That nut looks pretty good there. You can see just a little bit of space between the nut and the fingerboard because the walnut shim is in there. And because it's a different color, I didn't want to bring it all the way to the end. So I just figure that's the best way to do that. Uh, we set our relief back to where it should be, which is 12 thou. And we have, I'm at the top side of 
fender spec of it, 664 um, 664 664 and 664s. Um, no buzz. Let's just check our internet intonation. Oh, look at that. When you get all your dimensions right, maybe the intonation is actually going to be where it's supposed to be. Well, luck run out there. So we're going to, it's sharp, the A string is sharp, so that means the saddle's going to come back a little bit when the uh, string is flat. The saddle goes that way. When it's sharp, it means the string's too long, so the saddle has to move back. So that's what we're going to do. Get it in the slot. Okay, we're there. D's there. is a little flat so the saddle's got to go that way and you always push the push on the screw because move the saddle and the string tension holding that saddle down when you release the or unscrew the screw that's holding this um, sometimes it just backs out and the saddle doesn't actually move, so you have to push with the screwdriver to get it to pop into place. Okay, we're done. We gotta do string height. Or not string height, pickup height. So pickup height. Too high. It's gotta go down. Therefore pulling you out of tune. Okay, that one's right. That one's just a little bit high on that side. Good. Travel side. When you look closer, a little closer to the string. Take a look here. Put yourself down, tweak down. as far as it's going to come up, but it's really close. Actually, just by pulling on it, right up. Make sure it makes all the correct noises. And my little amp down here is a rolling micro cube, so it doesn't sound like a bass amp. Pickups.
Hey everybody, I want to thank you for joining us down here in the underground lair. If you need your axe sharpened, we're on the Facebooks, on the interwebs. Send me an instant message. We'll get you in line. If um, you like what you see here, appreciate the uh, content, please hit like, please hit subscribe, please hit the little bell. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, be good to your neighbor. Love your neighbor like yourself. Take care of the old folks because they are precious. Be patient with everybody. Love one another. Peace.